Good morning, it's great to have your company this Wednesday, the 15th day of September. My name is Jessica Ramirez, a Senior Market Analyst with Bell Direct. And just a friendly reminder, we are bringing you audio updates for the time being until restrictions ease and then we'll be back in the studio as per normal. So thanks for staying with us. And apologies for the noise today. There's a lot of construction going on around me. Well, markets are bracing for change as the September effect kicks in. But now, just a brief touch on overseas markets. Well, the sour negative effect took a grip of US equities overnight. The three major indices all closed in the red. The Dow Jones, the blue chip index, fell 0.8 of a percent, while the more broader S&P 500 lost 0.6 while the tech-heavy Nasdaq fell half a percent. So what to watch today locally? Well, firstly, the futures are indicating the Aussie share market will follow Wall Street lower and 4.6 of a percent as investors adjust their portfolios ahead of the end of quarter, bracing for volatility as well ahead of Friday with options expiring. Also recall that the Aussie share market is about 3% off the record all-time high. And over the last 18 months, the market has only fallen twice, September last year and September that we're in now. So September, it's a bit of a dirty word in finance. Why? Well, we know companies go ex-dividend and investors sell stocks after collecting the dividend right. Also recall that it's end of quarter. What this means is we usually see investors taking profits from stocks that have done well. Just look at tech stocks. They're down the most this week, but the tech sector is one of the best performers this quarter. On the flip side, investors are topping up stocks that are underperforming. Just look at energy stocks this week. They're the best performers, up 5.7%. But energy is one of the worst performers this quarter. So be mindful that a lot of investors are buying stocks that have underperformed and selling stocks that have done well in the quarter. The second major area of focus today will be commodities. The lithium sector was thrust into the spotlight again after Pilbara Minerals announced that they sold a record or they hit a record for the spodumene lithium price at their auction. Elsewhere, the oil price is up by 0.4% to $70.73. Gold is steady at $1,805 an ounce. Meanwhile, the iron ore price has fallen again. It's lost 1.4%. It's now at $124, getting pretty close to where some analysts think the iron ore price will bottom at $115. And the coal price is simmering at a record all-time high. Goldman Sachs thinks the coal price will move higher again. It upgraded its price targets for thermal and met coal overnight. And the third focus today will be on economic news. Yesterday, business confidence improved. And today, we'll learn how consumers are feeling. Keep in mind, yesterday as well, importantly, the RBA governor said the official cash rate won't increase until 2024. However, we know bond yields, which are effectively... Our corporate interest rates will rise after the RBA will stop buying bonds after February next year. So that's something to consider. The fourth area to watch today, companies going ex-dividend, which often sees stocks fall. So companies going ex-dividend today include CIMIC, CIM, Costa, CGC, and Lavisa, LOV. As for trading ideas that could be worth a look, Well, the agricultural and real estate business, it's pretty diversified. Elders, ELD, they were reiterated as a Bell Potter buy with a $13.75 price target implying 18% share price growth in a year. The reason for the upgrade, several reasons. You might note cattle prices are higher year on year and are trading at a record all-time high. And sheep and lamb prices are also higher year on year. While Bell Potter notes year-to-date volumes for wool are up about 36%. And Elder's crop business is set to benefit from soil moisture and three-month rainfall outlooks being stronger than a year ago. While the agricultural body, ABES, is forecasting Australia's winter crops to hit a 20-year high. Add it all in together and Elders ELD is looking pretty attractive to Bell Potter, not just Bell Potter, but Macquarie, UBS and City 
All say that ELD is undervalued and it's a buy. Also consider that agricultural stocks do act as a bit of an agricultural hedge for inflation or rising prices. And indeed, we're seeing that now. As four other trading ideas or bullish charting signals have been seen in Origin Energy, ORG, Pure Hydrogen, PH2, and Fletcher Building. And that's according to Trading Central. I'm Jessica Ramir from Bell Direct. Stay safe, happy trading, and again, apologies for the noise.